hostage crisis in Gaza is impacting hundreds of families across the globe. And our next guest has been dealing with the repercussions of the tragedy firsthand. His sister-in-law, Sharona Shmunis Harrell, was celebrating her 40th birthday at the music festival in South Israel when she was abducted and taken hostage by Hamas militants. Joining me now, Sharona Shmunis's Sharona Shmunis Harrell's brother-in-law, Ohad Harrell. Thank you very much for being here, Mr. Harrell. Um, walk us through the last time Sharona made contact with members of your family. What did she say? Last message was last week, last Saturday, in uh, 9.07 in the morning. Uh, the message was, they are shooting at us and I'm hiding. And since then, we didn't get any any info. How did you react to the news that Hamas had started shooting and attacking festival goers? I took my uh, younger brother, her husband, and we drove to the festival area. It's like an hour and a half driving. We get there, and it was like a, a war zone. It was like everything was with the fire and bushes and plants burning both sides of the roads, um, missiles above the car, uh, shooting all around. Crazy, crazy situation. Um, when you got there, were there were there festival goers, anyone you could talk to once you got there in the middle of, of, of that chaos that you just described? Yeah, yeah. we saw lots of uh, people uh, running from the fields outside to the main roads. Um, but uh, we showed them the photos of uh, mm -hmm. my sister-in-law. But most of them couldn't even speak. It was like a chaotic situation. Mm. Uh, they, they were all uh, like in post-trauma. Uh, you know, you, you mentioned earlier uh, in, um, in response to my first question that you got you had heard from Sharona and then you haven't heard anything from her since. I just wanted to double check that you haven't you you haven't heard directly from her at all after her abduction. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Has the Israeli government been in contact with you to discuss any uh, her current status or anything about their efforts to find her? No, they don't. They don't involve us as citizens. But I know that there there are people who deal with it. We didn't get any information from their uh, uh, efforts or anything too. Uh, the only thing that we try to do is to, to push all the, the leaders of, of the, the world leaders to stand next to the United States, which back us up since the beginning. Uh, you, you haven't gotten official word of her status, like some other families dealing with this hostage crisis. And I, I hesitate to ask this question, but uh, I, I will. Do you believe she is still alive at this moment? I tell you the truth, I don't know anything. For me, there are two options. One option is that she is not here, that's it, she's dead. And until I, I, uh, I, I have the body, I will know. The second option is that she's have, she has been killed, kidnapped inside Gaza. So I don't have any any way to keep optimist. Uh, uh, to to the only option to be optimist is mm. to think that she is alive and she is in Gaza. Yesterday evening in the Israeli news, uh, they put a lot of uh, photos of people that uh, have been kidnapped, and she was one of them. I don't know if it's uh, authentic or uh, not authentic, but. We are trying to, to keep our head up and to take care of her children and to think uh, uh, she's in a good place. If, if Sharona were able to hear you right now, what would you say to her? Come home. I have nothing else to say. Look, we are not dealing with a country, with an army, 
we are dealing with a terror organization. So, and, and so, I have Mr. nothing to do. Mm -hmm. And so, Mr. Hell, to that to that point, if the if the people who kidnapped Sharona were, were listening, what's your message to them? My message to them: Don't do anything that you will regret. Oh, hot Harrell, um, I and m millions of people in the United States and around the world are are with you and your family. Um, it, it, our thoughts and prayers for a a positive resolution. Oh, hot Harrell, thank you very much. I want to thank you too, the United States, Joe Biden, Anthony Blinken, Eric Adams, the mayor of New York. We, we, I've heard his speech. Wow, thank you for your support. It's amazing to see United States backing up like this uh, against the this hatred. Thank you. Thank you.